Good morning, YouTube. It's Saturday, so it's kind of like your Sunday. But um, I wanted to make this video because we get asked a bunch about um, Nabila's cooking, and um, we are going to start uploading some of the uh, some of the recipes and stuff and and food that she most awesomely makes onto this vlog channel. So do stay tuned for that. But one of the things that we get asked about is also to do with our smoothies. Now we've started. We got this um, blender and we've been making smoothies now for about a month and uh, people ask us about you know, what we use and how we make it and all that good stuff. So, let me turn the kettle off for a quick second. Um, this is a really easy get in there smoothie. One of the things about smoothies is uh, the fact that when you start off you think it's just a pile full of fruit and, and, and vegetables and stuff like that. Well, on a Sunday or on a Sunday, on a Saturday, or on the weekend for us, what we do is we try and like um, sweeten it up a little. So this is something really simple, really easy that you guys can can use, and it's 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 healthy, healthy-ish with a treat uh, involved in there. So what you're going to need is a vanilla onken or biopot yogurt. We use vanilla, and we use yogurt for two reasons. Number one, the yogurt isn't too overpowering; it adds kind of substance to the smoothie. And also using vanilla because vanilla flavor will bring out and help to bring out the flavors and the other stuff that you use. Um, you want to use frozen uh, mixed berries. Now we used to use strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, all that kind of stuff that was fresh. But the problem was, um, number two, uh, two things. The first thing was that you know it costs a lot, especially out here. And number two is that you know, you've got to use it up within a few days, whereas you can buy a pack of this and put it in the freezer and it's still it's okay it's okay it would be better to use fresh stuff but hey and then what I would recommend is some cinnamon and a banana but hey you're gonna have to use your banana because we don't have a banana so we're gonna incorporate some apples in that and the other thing was cinnamon so all you do really simple is for about two people you're gonna need about I'd say just under half a tub of a standard kind of yogurt pot you're going to need about, ooh, I'd say a handful, small handful or a cu small cupful of mixed berries and just one apple or one banana that you're going to put in there and about three uh, of cinnamon. So let me do that and you'll see the finished product. Okay, so we've got the um, apples in there, we've got the yogurt in there. I'm just adding a bit of um, uh, milk to the rest of the yogurt so that we can use it. Our kettle's boiling for our poached egg and there's a cinnamon and in fact, let me add some of this in there as well. In fact, what I would recommend is grind this up first, or blend, grind. Blend this up first, and then uh, you can add some of the other stuff. So, cap on. Now what happens is, is you'll get it, um, sometimes if it's not sort of fluid enough, you'll get it in that kind of format. So you need to add liquid, and today we're using milk, but we usually add sort of either juice or water or something like that, and watch what happens. to blend it up much better. Now look at this, I've added some of the um, frozen berries and immediately look what it's done to the colour, it's not completely mixed up, I wanted to show you this. But look, no artificial colours, no... Oh! oh my god! <laughs> Forgot the top, sorry. Um, yeah, let me put the top on. Oh, it's all over the iPhone as well. Look at that colour! Cinnamon in there as well. About a tablespoon. About a tablespoon, says Miss Vila. And uh, cinnamon is good, circulatory. It's um, good if you suffer from migraines as well. Just mix that in there. And that's it. Look, let's just show you what it looks like now. I saw this yesterday, right? And you know, this, I, I've checked the berries and stuff. No artificial flavors, no nothing, no coloring, look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks like real, you know, it looks so appetizing. Mm, really nice. And that's it, a really simple start to the day. Now, Miss Bila likes hers in a cup. What I like to do is I like to use um, German kind of muesli and actually mix, mix some in there. Now, what you can do, if I was doing this on my own, 
I would actually put like, the music in here, and the music that we're using at the moment is this one. Um, I'm not sure it's like, I'm not sure it's kind of like available everywhere, but this is something that we found. It's really, really nice. Strawberry yogurt notes, and um, yeah, you can do that with any music. You can either mix that and actually blend that at the same time. If you're weight training, a lot of my friends that do that uh, would add then whey powder in there and, and stuff like that. But I choose not to do that. I'm not using whey yet, but I, I, I will start doing um, a little later. But I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to use that almost out like my milk. So, mm, delicious. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Are you using smoothies? Let us know. Post a comment down below and... Um, if you've got a better idea or any others, then add a video response. Because it's always fun to see what other people are doing. Anyway, that's it from us for now. Peace and blessings.